You definitely know about the ancient Egyptian pyramids of Giza. This icon has left us all scratching our heads, wondering how on earth humans could have built something this incredible. And let me tell you, when you actually see the pyramids for yourself, it will leave you with even more questions. But the pyramids aren't the only interesting thing in Cairo. Whether you're visiting to just see the pyramids or for a general holiday, I'll be showing you some of the best attractions, hotels, and restaurants to check out during your time here. I know that planning every little element of your trip can be stressful and also massively expensive, so I definitely recommend checking out travel packages, especially if you're traveling as part of a group or want to see the pyramids. I've linked the top website for you to get the best travel package deals in the description below. So if you're looking to save time and money and just enjoy your trip, check that out. Attractions, the Pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx. It goes without saying that you need to visit the pyramids during your time in Cairo. Standing right in front of the Pyramids of Giza, the mighty Khufu Khafre Menkara is absolutely surreal. These structures are even huger in person than what you see on TV. Honestly, walking up to them feels like a journey through history. And the Sphinx is mesmerizing too. Depending on when you come here, I'd seriously recommend checking out Nine Pyramids Lounge for breakfast. The vibe there, with the pyramids in the background, absolutely unforgettable. You munching on some breakfast with these ancient wonders in view is like a movie scene. Khan El Khalili Bazaar. Coming to this bazaar is a bit like entering a maze. Yeah, it gets a bit touristy, but I loved every moment of getting lost in those narrow, bustling alleys. I found myself some cool trinkets, but I definitely had to haggle my way through. The Naguib Mafu's Cafe here is amazing too. You can just sip on some tea, surrounded by history, and it's like you're part of Cairo's story. You can finish your day off with Sufi whirling dervishes at Wekalet El Jury Arts Center. The energy there is electric. The performers are wow, and it's just a perfect cultural end to your day in Cairo. Walk like an Egyptian tour. Now, if you're into a bit of exclusivity, the I'd recommend the Walk Like an Egyptian Tour. On this tour, you can see the Sha'ar Hashemayim Synagogue, a hidden gem that's usually off-limits. You can also see the Abdeen Palace, which is mind-blowing. Walking through that palace, you feel like you've cracked the code of Cairo's history. And al is Street is a stroll through history and culture. The buildings, the stories, it's like Cairo's soul laid bare. I loved every bit of it. The Egyptian Museum. Now the Egyptian Museum got a facelift not too long ago, and it's a treasure trove. Sure, they moved Tutankhamun's things, but there's still so much history in every corner. After wandering through, I'd recommend Felfila, which is the perfect spot for a post-museum feast. You're sitting there, reflecting on everything you just saw, eating some local delights. The National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. Seeing the royal mummies paraded through Cairo at this museum was surreal. That golden coffin of priest Nejimank gave me goosebumps. It's like you're touching Egypt's soul. Every artifact, every display, it's like you're on a journey through Egypt's rich tapestry. You definitely leave with a deeper connection to its incredible history. Hotels, Sofitel Cairo El Gazira. This hotel is right in the heart of Cairo. Zamalek, where this gem sits, is surprisingly quite peaceful and green in the midst of the bustling city. The Sofitel itself is a towering, desert-hued beauty with 27 stories. And the best part is that every one of the 433 rooms gives you those jaw-dropping Nile views. Waking up to that is just so surreal I can't even put it into words. It's like Cairo's charm wrapped up in a panoramic view. Marriott Mena House. This has been an icon since 1886, and let me tell you, it lives up to the hype. You can literally step out from this hotel and bam, Giza pyramids right there like neighbors you'd borrow sugar from. Agatha Christie name dropped this gem, and honestly, I get why. The vintage vibes, the heritage celebration, it's like being in a time capsule with a touch of luxury. Conrad Cairo, this is a modern hotel by the Nile. I checked in with high expectations and boy, did it deliver. 
Opening its doors in 1998, this 24-story beauty is a splash of color against Cairo's skyline. You can see views of the Nile from the rooms, which is just mind-blowing. I'm not a morning person, but I definitely got up every morning just to see that sunrise view with the Nile. The food and amenities here are great too, but I loved it most for just being by the Nile. Restaurants, Abou Tarek. This is a cozy no-frills spot, not your Michelin star joint, but let me tell you, it's a Cairo essential. If you're new in town, or heck, if you're a local seeking comfort, this is your go-to. Why? Because of the koshari here. This dish has rice, lentils, chickpeas, macaroni, vermicelli, all swimming in tangy tomato goodness. Abu Tariq's been perfecting this koshari dish since 1935. This dish alone is worth coming to this restaurant. Andrea El Mariutea. This has been a family-run spot since 1958. If you're into grilled chicken that's practically a work of art, you need to come here. They've got amazing, juicy, flavorful chicken, slightly charred bread, and a spread of Egyptian meze. It's an absolute feast with generous portions. The courtyard vibes and the panoramic views add that extra oomph. I'd recommend swinging by for breakfast to mingle with the locals, as coming here is like a morning ritual for them. Fasa Hetsamaya. This is a homely joint near the Egyptian Museum. Now, when I say homely, I mean it. Chef Samaya welcomes you like family, and that blue and white decor is like a slice of Greek charm in Cairo. The star here is the Molokia, that's practically legendary. It's not your fancy, over-the-top place. It's quick, casual, and oh-so-Egyptian. The menu is simple, focused, and driven by what the morning market offers. Now, I can't promise that you'll leave Cairo knowing the answers to mind-boggling questions about ancient civilization, but I can promise that you'll learn so much during your time here and just feel connected to such a special city with such a special history, especially if you check out some of these places I talked about. If you found this video helpful or just enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.